Dollar Tree Jones here. So I was just taking a few um, product shots for some of the kimonos. Let's just, you know, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Um, and I realized as I was photographing this incredible one, this is like my karate kid. Oh, how cool. I really fucking love this one. Um, in any case, I'm photographing it and I went to put it away. And you know, it's got some uh, fading from the sun and from folding on the tops of the shoulders and it's so common. The vintage things. I don't even know if you can see them from this angle. Anyways, as I'm folding it and putting it away, I think I know the kimonos prefer to be folded and rolled in a nice, lovely, comfortable way as opposed to hanging on a hanger or just the weight of them bears down on the silk and the shoulders and the hanger and disintegrates. And I was like, maybe I should show everybody how they do it. Also, my Chris and I had a fight about this. We had a discussion where I was trying to explain this concept to him. So, kimono, you know, here, okay. There's a seam always down the back of the neck. So, sleeve to sleeve. And you'll just kind of notice, you know, it's just like there's these two, two points. I, mean, I don't know how to zoom on this thing or not, whatever. Rick doesn't know how to do anything, so I'm surprised he's even here. Um, you know, and this is like not necessarily an official way. This is, this is the Luxury Jones way. I do this with all of them, the long and the short ones. I'm sure you can watch a YouTube video on how to do it better. Um, I either fold them, you know, just like that, or sometimes I roll them all the way, all the way up. But they're safer, less uh, stress points, you know, involved in, in taking care of and storing your kimono. I do that with lots of my my clothing. I um, often get this vibe that they need like a, a vacation from hanger life. So I, um, I do that, I just take them off the hanger for a while. I'm like, hey, let's take a break. Let's go chill in this other place. <laughs> I also just realized that I never sit down and I feel tired and I feel like it's gonna catch up with me. Um, the whole no sitting down thing, you know, pretty quickly. I have so much more to tell you, but I guess uh, we'll just keep it professional for now, right? Chinese knot is my favorite knot currently in macrame. Just you know, parting, parting a little bit of knowledge there. Um, wait, okay. So, ah, don't clamp. Back to work, child. 